What's up guys, this is Metraptor, also known as Luxatus Patella. Welcome to part 6 of my Croc 2 walkthrough series. Last time I finished up the last levels of the second world, the Cossack village. And now I'm gonna beat Flavio, the thermal fish. Wow, I said that wrong, didn't I? Flavio, the thermal fish. Sounds a bit better. But um, yeah, it's a boss battle. We uh, need to do it, you actually read this already. You know, use the balloon, try to stop it. This is kind of a weird boss battle because we need to use a balloon. Let's check it out. Okay, so I know how this works. I could tell you, pretty much you need to lower yourself down to get an ice cube. And this is uh, Flavio. He's shooting bubbles. Heat bubbles, I might add. What you need to do is actually throw the ice cube at him. And you probably think that did nothing. But guess what? You need to get another ice cube. You need to throw it again at the water and then you somehow hit him because it gets cold or whatever. So, this seems easy, but there is a little catch. You cannot touch the ground with your hot air balloon. Why? I don't know. Maybe it's too hot because of Flavio. But uh, no, you have to use the balloon instead of. Um, this is actually kind of retarded. You need to use a balloon instead of just walking there, you know, throwing ice cubes here and there. I guess, um, you know, it doesn't seem that fitting or, you know, like I said, I have a theory that the ground is too hot to touch for Croc's feet. See, like, I just bumped against the ground. That was not really good. Uh, let's see, do I still have the ice cube? Yes. Now, now you gotta be fast. I mean, seriously fast. I mean, he's gonna go down. Get the ice cube, because before you know it, he comes back up. See, I was just in time. Still did it. Easy boss battle. Now we got a cutscene. I'm gonna shut up. Okay, so suddenly you're in this boss battle and you have no idea what to do except that you see a bunch of smoky things and a thing that pops out. So, what's the premise? Um, well, oh god. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you. First of all, I don't know this boss name, I don't know. But anyways, you need to get these ice cubes. There are big ice cubes and there are small ice cubes. I just used the big ice cube. So I can fill up that gap because that's worth two. As you can see, a small ice cube is worth one. What you need to do is actually just plug the hole and then you're done. Anyways, ouch. Uh, this boss... Um, you can actually predict what he's going to do because of his um, his noises. Because it's always like... Bruh, 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 bruh. And knowing from that, you can actually know his pattern, like what he's going to do. Like, now I know he's gonna shoot fireballs because he took like a second to do nothing. Um, but boss battle, not hard. You just gotta be a little bit careful, and if you know his patterns, then it's, it's pretty easy. Still, this boss battle is pretty retarded, if you ask me. I mean, uh, do we really need to do this? Anyway, he's gonna pop up here, he's gonna look around. He's not really that kind of violent, he just uses fireballs every now and then, but... Um, even when you're standing really close to him, he doesn't seem to hurt you. So anyways, we got two more gaps with one and one. Maybe I explained it very badly, but uh, you know, it's a very short boss spell if you know what to do. And I'm still surprised by, you know, what's this guy's name? How did uh, the Dante uh, get up here in Larry's shop? And what the hell is Larry's shop? I mean, look at it. What, what, what this is kind of a uh, place. Whatever, I am guess I'm not going to figure out because I'm done with the boss battle. I'm going to look at the camera like a derp. And then we're going to save Larry. Oh, the irony. I'm going to get my good friend from the first level. <laughs> Croc did so well. I should get a medal. 
All right, so again, like in the first world, they're gonna ask you to go to swap me peep. Uh, by the way, look at my uh, amount of diamonds, 999. That's a pretty beast number if you ask me. So we beat the second world. So yeah, you're gonna, it's kind of predictable what's gonna happen. We're gonna go to swap me Pete and he's gonna tell us a story about that we did so well and we need to go to the third world. What, you didn't believe me? <laughs> They never forget a friend like my most humble self. But you must continue your journey. I think it's kind of funny that Swap Me Pete knows that. Oh, I think you might want to go there. You know, just for fun and shit. They're a most silly bunch, but they might be able to help you. Anyways, we're gonna go to the land of the cave gabos, but um. Yeah. And I'm a mechanic. Or a dentini? A croc. What's a mechanic? <laughs> croc doesn't seem to know a lot of the world. Anyways. The cobbles are kinda busy, but look around if you like. Well, I'm gonna look around, because this has to be my favorite world out of all the games. Uh, out of all the worlds in the game. I mean, look at it. We got a waterfall of lava. And there is a river of lava, and there is fossils and shit, you know, how can you not like it? So, what's up, king? It's ginger soda day soon. But mysterious Gabo, who makes it not here yet? We might not have enough, if only someone else could make some. I mix it all up in a great big village cauldron. Ingredients all around here, somewhere. Yeah, so again, like in the second world, we're gonna get some items. And uh, we're gonna go and um, we have to put them somewhere, you know, stuff and stuff, and it's all good. Um, but look at this. What does this look like? This is like a freaking. Uh, what was, what's that? What do we have Team Dante, Oil and Spares, Gobbo F1. We got some cells for Formula One in here. Well, we got a kart race here. This has to be my favorite event of all the, in the entire game. This kart race was like the best thing that could ever happen in my childhood um, but um, I'm gonna explain it in the next part though because it's a little bit tricky how to unlock it it's kind of uh, well it's, it's kind of tricky at some point actually anyways the first ingredient fizz 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 whoa I just stand on that thingy <laughs> weird anyways that's the first ingredient we're gonna get three more if I'm correct like in the second one we had to get four parts uh, so just look around, and this is actually pretty beast. We got actually got across the waterfall with platforms. So I think that this is, um, yeah, this is actually the, the the first world that you encounter where you can actually die just on the world map itself. You know, I think you cannot die in the in the first uh, world. I think you cannot die in the second world, but you can die in this world if you really want to. And I always wondered, what the hell is at the end of the river? I always wanted to find out, but, you know, I guess I cannot have it all. Anyways, uh, you can easily call this the stone, uh, the stone age or whatever, but because there's stone hatch, there's like bones and fossils, and there, there are even dinosaurs in here. It's like, holy freaking crap, uh, <laughs> lots of stuff going on. Anyways, this is sugar. I'm gonna get myself some sugar. And we're gonna need two more things, and they're actually relatively close to each other. Uh, this world is kind of big, you know? Compared to the first and second world, this world is kind of big to actually walk around in. This is the... I guess it's the ginger or whatever. It looks like a piece of wood to me, but whatever. And here is the bucket. We're gonna need a bucket. I have a, I actually do have a kind of interesting characters in here. Like this dude. It's almost home already. Like, hell yeah. Now I did some magic powder thing. I hear some sizzling noise. Did I do it? Come on, dude. Look. Gobble, make it rain. Oh, yeah, you can actually use, like... Yeah, you can switch between sunny and rain for some reason, even though it's always dark. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why the hell they put that in, but I guess it's, it's fun or something. 
Um, yeah, so we gotta cross the waterfall again, because we need to go back to the king to get our money. Yep, what else did you thought we were gonna get? A golden gobble? No way, we're gonna get myself some more crystals. Best ever ginger soda. And yep, we got another 100 crystals, so I'm over a 1,000 crystals already. But um, that'll be all for this part. Um, you know, uh, next parts uh, are going to cover the third world, of course. I cannot wait to do this. This just has to be my favorite world. But there are also a lot of tricky things in, in, that are in here, so I need to make sure that um, I'm fully prepared for this job. Because it gets tricky. I mean, it really gets tricky. You're going to see. You're going to see. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel where you're free for more upcoming videos. Like and favorite if you like the content of the video, of course. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace. And just take my time. There's no time limit, I think. Okay, shoot. And go for it. Stop and punch. See? Whoa! Whoa! Like, holy f...